Joining us now is the head coach of the Mustangs, fresh off a really solid four-quarter performance for your team, Coach Paul Cantabene. A really strong effort tonight, and um, I, you know I, I don't know what we complain about after a game like this. Well, you still got the things you got to get better at. We let ten get loose a couple times. We got some good shots and um, missed some easy ground balls in a couple spots. But um, you know, and, and, but I thought we overall good. You know, Justin been against a great kid, and they they battled each other. I think he, the, the other kid won one more than him. I thought he did a great job, and Ross is continuing to play well. And I think I love the way we played off. I thought we moved the ball. I thought we played tough and went hard. And when he got good shots, we stuck him. And I thought we did a really, really good job of that. And then we smelled some blood in the water. We went after him. And um, so I liked the way we played, especially in that first half. And I thought in the, in the second half, we did a really good job, business-like way of approaching the game and went after it. So I like how we're playing. And, you know, but we got to gonna have to be better against RIT on Saturday. It's going to be a great game. And, you know, they're going to be ready to go. And uh, they've had a great season. And uh, we know what they're all about. Played them early in the year. But everybody's gotten better. And, uh, and um, as we have, and uh, we'll give them a great effort. Coach, you had some really great efforts tonight. One from Brandon Watson, who I thought was the best offensive player on the field from a playmaking standpoint, goals, assists. And then on the defensive side, Jake Brown, who was just all over the place, he knocked was. down passes, created transition offense where you can just speak to the, their effort. Well, you know, I think you know, Brandon, ever since we kind of, he's getting better and better all year. He hasn't even played to his potential yet, we think, and he's really getting there. But him moving into the midfield about four games ago has really helped him because he is so fast and he can make so many things happen. And uh, so he's really starting to see what a kind of a player he can be. And uh, so we're happy with how he's doing. And, uh, and you know, Jake's just a tough kid, man. He's just a tough kid, and uh, he gets a lot of tough ground balls. And he's doing some great things now, moving the ball. And you know, when you got to play a midi D position like he does, it's really a no glory position. But you know, he's battled with some of the best midis in the country and come out on top. And so we love the way those two guys are playing. But a lot of other guys are doing great things too. Uh, but those two guys are doing some things that are really special. Coach, should you talk at all in the build up to this game about what happened in the first round last year and 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 and, and reminding guys of 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 what they needed to do to make sure something like that didn't happen again? I know. It's some of yeah. these guys, like the guy we're talking to, weren't yeah. a part of that. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, I mean, you know, last year we went into that game and we started out really good and we had a chance to go up 5 1, 6 1. We missed some easy ones and, uh, you know, Cabrini made a run. They shot the ball very, very well and I thought their goalie played extremely well in that game. And, but, uh, you know, we had, you know, I think that we learned from that. I think, you know, guys, the guys like Donna Free who played in that game, Karasin who played in that game, Don Fazio, the guys have all did that, did a tremendous job making the team understand no, nothing's given and we have to come out and play really well. And I thought we did that. You know, I thought we played four quarters. Our bench was great. Everybody played tonight. You know, everybody contributed in some fashion or form. It was great. And uh, so, but unfortunately, you know, John Bercy got hurt. And I think it's an ACL and uh, he's a great kid, tried so hard. And, uh, you know, he was playing so well. So that's a, that's a tough blow for us at the mid D spot. But, you know, we have other guys that will step up and do some good things. But but, uh, you know, we're doing good things, and we, but we hope it continues. Coach, defensively tonight, you guys just put a ton of pressure on Nazareth. Yeah. I mean, more pressure exactly. than I've seen you guys do all year. Dom played excellent. He just kind of bullied his, his his matchup. What are you guys looking to do against RIT? Some, things, some of the similar stuff? Well, we tonight. haven't really done m m many things well against him defensively <laughs> here lately. They scored some goals against us. But I thought the time we played up there uh, this past year, we did some good things defensively. We just got to kind of got out of it when we had to kind of double and do some things. So we got to talk to Coach Paul. So we'll come up with a game plan and do the best we can. Obviously, we got to change some of the things we're doing to guard them, but that's, it's, a, it's an all-way thing. We have to win face-offs. We have to control the ball on offense. We got to handle their 10-man ride. You know, we got to be able to, you know, win the ground ball battle. We got to shoot the ball well. So, but those are all things every team has to do in every game. But, you know, we'll do, we'll do what we can and go up there and give a great effort. And, uh, you know, we're confident we'll do well. You brought us a first-time post-game guest tonight. This is we don't we don't get new blood all the time. Yeah, well, you know, Donnie's time. been up here a couple times. Hasn't oh, he? he's yeah. been up. Yeah, you're right. That's a good right. point. I mean, he's been up he's here. He's scored a, like 50 goals this year or something like that. So that's I think true. He's, he's probably here. been up. He's got four tonight. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah now yeah, that I think so. about it, I've yeah. seen Donnie a lot. All right, yeah, my fault. My fault. That's my fault, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coach, we'll see. Take him away if you don't want. No, no, no. We're happy to talk to Donnie. We will. We will see on Saturday up in Rochester. It's going to be going to be a big one. Going to be a big one. Congratulations. Thank you, Coach Paul Cantabene, joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.